G'day guys, welcome back. Well as you can see, I'm out at this field once again. And I've got the K Eagle, the JJRC H115 out with me again since I was able to recover it the next day after my flight test underneath that tree. Now since I have this drone back, um, I never got to try out the app in my review last week when I was flying it up on that field. So uh, that's one thing I want to try out today is the app, see what the camera quality is like, as well as to see if that incident last week where this drone went crazy and straight into that big tree over there, whether that's a one-off situation or whether it's going to act up again today. So I'm going to load up the app guys, I'll be with you in a tick. As you can see I'm in the middle of this larger field, well away from any tree. So I'm going to start off here and just fly it around here and hopefully it doesn't act up. Okay, so let's set it up and take it for its second flight. <laughs> All right guys, I'm in the app now. It's called Wi-Fi UAV. And as you can see, it says Flow 8K BFA 10D. That's what you're gonna find as the address for this drone when you go into your Wi-Fi settings. So let's have a look at the settings quickly. You've got uh, mode one and two, which is left hand and right hand. Rocker mode, we've got some, uh, looks like all different languages to choose from and upgrade firmware, I'm just gonna leave it as is guys. So uh, let's click start and we've got the Wi-Fi FPV there, all right. Now um, let's see if there's any settings on the top here. There is one that looks like a follow me as you can see near the palm and there's like a waypoint. I'll try that out a bit later on, but uh, let's take a recording. Hopefully that is recording. Yep, there's a counter in the top left of the hand of the screen. And let's take it up. Okay, I'm gonna put in third rate. And uh, after that crash from last week's review, we'll see how it flies. Now I'm full pitch forward in the wind here. If I let go, it's gonna get taken back. And it's in third rate. So, <laughs> can tilt the camera down. All right, I'm in shot there. So that's the camera quality, guys. Definitely not 8K, is it? Or 4K, 6K. <laughs> Bring the camera up. Camera controls work rather well. You get an indication of a beep. Okay. Now, I'm going to let go of the sticks. I'll just let it sit here and we'll see if it can hold its uh, position with the optical flow. And it's not doing too bad like last week, guys. See? I'm not touching the controller. All right. Get in front of it. Bring the camera down a bit. There you going. So the Wi-Fi FPV looks all right. It's not, I mean, it's a little bit laggy, but it's... 2.4 gigahertz. It's not too bad actually. Look, I'm waving, thumbs up. No, it's not too bad actually. All right, let's try this follow function that I've uh, I've been curious about. Adjust the lens angle to about 30 degrees and keep a safe distance. Okay. So I'll go up a little bit. Bring the camera down a little bit more. Figure following has been turned on. All right, maybe I've got to go up. Hang on. Figure following has been turned on. It said there, didn't it? Let's stop that recording so I've got something on for the video just in case it crashes. I'll try it out again. It's, uh, it'll be interesting if it works. All right, so I'm gonna tilt the camera down a little bit. So it's got me in shot. See, that's far, too far down. Let's try it again. Okay. Please click the pedestrian on the screen. All right. There we go. Pretty much got myself here. So what, is it gonna do an image follow? The box is there, but it's not doing anything. Lost pedestrian. Maybe I'll go back a bit. All right, let's try that again. Okay, 
that's a bit more of a better indication around my body. So, let's see. Uh, it's lost me. It's keeping the box, well, it did keep the box relatively around me for a little bit there. Try that one more time. I think it's just a gimmick, guys. All right, so I'll slowly go this way. <laughs> Let me click record. What's it doing? Yeah, this doesn't work. One more try. I'll bring the camera up. I'll go a bit further away. Let's see. Yeah, it's not really doing anything. I mean, the the green square is following me, but I don't see the drone turning at all. It's not keeping me in center of shot. So yeah, see I could just keep walking and it's lost me, it just says it's lost me. So yeah, I don't see anything going on there. All right, let's try the waypoint one. These are things that I wanted to try in the initial review, you know, but I didn't get the chance to. So what do we do? Just draw a square, we're gonna fly. It's showing that it's going around in the in the app, but do a circle. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> it's just rocking back and forth, trying to do a spiral. I guess. Look, <laughs> you see that on the screen. Yeah, so it is sending a message through to the drone. Let's try try another one. All right, I'll get back into it. Do like a figure eight, a couple of figure eights. Let's see. <laughs> so you can see on the screen, the little drone going around and it doesn't really do much. It doesn't go, it, the actual drone doesn't fly out far and do figure eights, does it? It's just doing it on the spot. So yeah, that's a bit of a bit of a gimmick as well. I mean, I didn't think it had proper waypoints. It's not a GPS drone. All right. So uh, I'll turn that recording. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll fly it around. We'll get a bit of a recording. Let me bring the camera up. See how it flies today. So far, so good. It's not uh, acting up. And the Wi Fi FPV is okay. You know, they do stay at about 100 meters. Uh, as I said, it's okay, it uh, froze up, but you know. Bring it back. Doing not too bad today. Lights were flashing just then. I got no beeps on the controller. I don't know what that was about. All right, so let's, uh, it looks like it stopped the recording. Let's just take some photos. All right, we'll take some snapshots here. All right, so it's bobbing up and down a bit there. Let me bring it up a bit. It's trying to get its optical flow bearing. And it's rocking around. Look at that. I'm not even touching it. It's almost like it's got toilet bowling from a GPS compass. <laughs> All right. Now it's closer to the ground. It's settled down. The, that was the optical uh, flow. Trying to get its bearings there. All right, so we'll take a photo of the college. All right, take a couple. All right, so it's just chilling there. 
The optical flow doesn't work too bad, like last time. You can see I'm not touching it. Not too bad for a non-GPS drone. All right. A couple of photos. Face it over there. The trees. Take it up a bit. Okay, so what other features are there on this app? We've got the VR mode if you're wearing goggles. Okay, standard stuff. Okay, uh, we should be able to change the camera. What's this one here? I do not know what that is. That one there I just pressed. Okay, let's see if that gesture stuff works. I don't really use that gesture stuff. Not really a fan of it, but we'll see if it works. See if it takes a photo or video or whatever. Maybe I have to come in the light a bit better. Like I said, I'm not a fan of this gesture photography stuff, but not doing anything. Peace sign, does it do anything? Oh, I've got to press it first. All right. I didn't select it on the app. Oh, it's got a box around my hand. Oh, is this uh, supposed to be gesture control, maybe? I don't know if that's working or not. I mean, it is going to the left. Yeah, I wouldn't want to use that anyway. That's a bit uh, sketchy. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Oh, I took a photo. Took a photo. Hey, you gonna take another photo? It does take photos. All right. Well, other than that, I mean, you got your video, you got your photos. It's still working, actually. Turn that off. Um, MV. I guess you can add, oh yeah, you can add effects to your videos. See that? Woo, that's pretty spun out. <laughs> it's like one of those uh, mirrors, those crazy mirrors of the theme park. What's this one? Woo, going upside down. Okay, so they've... Uh, I can split it up four ways. All right, so you got all these different options here. Wow, it's going crazy now. Music, you've got different music and different effects as well. All right. Oh, well, you know, it's different, I guess. I take it out of that? Uh, got out of the app. Alright, got out of that. I want to get out of it anyway. In the normal mode. So anyway, let's uh, just fly it out. Uh, take another photo there of this tree. As you can see, the quality ain't the greatest, guys. It is a toy grade drone. You know, what do you expect? Um, yeah, it's going a little bit funny there because you get to a certain height and it's starting to struggle with the positioning. All right, so let's start video and just cruise it around. Let me bump it down to second rate. Try to get the best steady video I can. It is rocking around. So it is has redeemed itself. It's not going crazy on me. I better not speak too soon, but you know, it's... Uh, not going silly which is a good thing I'm glad you know I don't like to see these drones fail as far as you know the manufacturer you, you hope that they bring out a good product now that beep is LVC we're gonna fly it out now and get a proper flight time as you can see it's flashing lights at me just there so this is this is what I couldn't get uh, on the first video last week my review up on that field when it ended up in the tree. We didn't get a full flight time, but we are today. 
just fly it around. Smooth fly, it is quiet like I mentioned in my earlier video, very quiet. I'm not gonna bother with the flips because at this stage you can't do flips. This only has barrel rolls anyway, it doesn't have front or back flips. Right, so we'll just fly this out. Just adjusting the camera up and down. Seems like we've got a pretty decent flight time out of it. It's only 1800 milliamp hour 1S LiPo. It's not a 2S, don't forget. It's just a 3.7 volt. And you know, it's running brushless motors, a Wi Fi system, as well as ESCs. So I just want to fly it out until it lands itself and we'll get a proper flight time. I can't remember what they said on the listing. Eight to ten minutes maybe, I, I can't remember. Just trying to remember all the specs of all these drones I test, it's, uh, it's hard to uh, remember everything. She's still flying around, I'm gonna go in... Uh, We're in third rate now. Let's see what first rate's like. That's first rate. Yeah, pretty slow. So that's the yaw. Let's see if the yaw changes. That's first rate yaw. Second rate. Yeah, third rate's a bit quicker on the yaw. First rate. Yeah, it does get a little bit quicker each time. That's flying a long time. Is it gonna land? It looks like it's landing now. I'm throttling up and she's gently landing on the grass here. All right, there, there you go, guys. That is the, I'm gonna finish that recording. So yeah, there it is there, guys. Um, JJRC, K Eagle, the H115 actually, you know, acted normal today. So seems like that was a one-off incident. That's what I wanted to actually check out today, you know, to see if it'll uh, go crazy on me again. And um, just looks like that's a one-off thing. So anyway, I achieved what I set out to do today. Uh, I wanted to actually give it another revisit flight, make sure it flies okay, or whether it uh, gave me any more mishaps. I wanted to check out the app, you know, that's more importantly. I wanted to check out the app, see the flight features of this drone, uh, especially the camera quality, and this uh, whole follow me, image follow me, and some of the other features there, we went through that, and to get a flight time in. So, anyway, yeah, I mean, it did redeem itself. What can I say? You can see that in this video. It did fly well today, and we were able to, you know, check out all the uh, features of the app and get a flight time. So this is probably, basically, a second review on this drone. But, um, you know, as far as recommending it, I'm 50-50 on this one now. Um, you know, there are better drones out there, that's for sure. So yeah, today it actually did what a drone is supposed to do. It flew well, and uh, most of the features on the app actually did work. So anyway, guys, look, if you're interested in this drone, by all means, you can check it out in the link below where I got it from Banggood. That's where I purchased this one from. And uh, I'll put some links of some other drones as I did in the initial review video of this one if you want to check them out as well, all right? As well as some extra batteries. Batteries are dirt cheap for this drone and some of the other ones that I recently featured on the channel that are similar, uh, the E100, LSRC S1S, they all share these same 3.7 volt, 1800 milliamp hour LiPos. So anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching this revisit on the K Eagle drone from JJRC, uh, the H115, it's new to the market. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, second flight test. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. So have a great day and happy flying. Catch you on the next one.